Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jenna Redfield and today is a very exciting day because it's the final part of our five part video series on digital decluttering. And this episode is gonna be all about email organization, something that I think everyone struggles with, no matter if you have ADHD or not. And I have found a really, really great system and I wanna walk you through it today. So make sure to subscribe for more videos and let's get into the email of it all. So as you know, I've been talking about throughout this entire series, I organize everything in my life into the 13 pillars. You can watch this video to see how I color coordinate and, and you should really watch that video for this video because I actually do use a lot of color coordination when it comes to labeling inside of my email. So I use Gmail and I'll talk a little bit about how I use Gmail, specifically how I use separate accounts for different things. This is a newer thing I've started doing this year and it's really, 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 really helped me. Um, for example, I made an entire email just for email newsletters. So every time someone asks you for your email that you know that they're gonna send follow-up emails to, I give them my email, which I will say it right here. I'll say a variation of it. It's basically like Jenna's newsletters at gmail.com, something like that. I'm not gonna tell you the exact email, but it is basically what I, I do check it every day, um, but it's something that is only for subscriptions. It's not any of my personal emails. It's not any of my client emails. I put all of my newsletters, anything that has like a subscribe or unsubscribe button, that all goes in the separate email. Sometimes people use like old Yahoo emails or stuff, but then they never look at it again. I'm the kind of person who does look at newsletter subscriptions. So I wanted them to be in a Gmail that I can look at. So personally, I've set that up. I have now unsubscribed from a ton of newsletters and started resubscribing to the ones I wanted to keep inside of that. Another great tool I've used for many years if you're trying to get rid of newsletters is I use one called Unroll Me, which actually allows you to see how many newsletters you have and either allows you to send yourself a daily email with all of the you know ones that you've rolled up into one email or you can unsubscribe and have them kind of bounce out of your inbox. You still get the notification though, so that's the hard part. So I still use Unroll Me, but this new system I've used with a new email has made clearing my email so much easier and I highly recommend it to everyone. It's gonna take some time, like all of these digital decluttering things, this is not an overnight solution. It's going to take actually probably several months, but in the long run, I'm gonna be very happy because all of my newsletters are now going to one email and it doesn't send me you know, notifications throughout the day. Because I don't know about you, as an ADHD -er, I struggle with you know, constantly getting dings. And now the only emails that I get are important emails that have to do with my business. And that is important to me and I need to actually get to them. So for me, having a separate email is number one. Then the second thing you have to do is sort by pillar. Creating folders and labels inside of Gmail. I'm gonna walk you through that a little bit on this. I've actually done a whole video on this already, but I wanted to kind of just show it again because it's very important to have your email be organized so that you're not drowning. I hate when I see people's inbox and they have like 10,000 unread emails. I'm like, how do you do it? It would drive me insane. I'm at like over 100 emails right now and that is like <laughs> too much for me. I do try to get to inbox zero a lot. Um, I'm actually, one of my goals today by the end of the day is to get back to inbox zero. But I wanted to show you guys, actually, I'll show you guys my, I'm not gonna show you my personal email because it's very, there's a lot of stuff, but I am gonna show you how I do it in my newsletter email um, because it's the exact same way that I organize all of my email newsletter or all of my emails is with this 13 pillar system. So I'll show you guys this account because it's just, again, newsletters, it's all stuff I've signed up for. So I'm not embarrassed by any of it or it's not, it doesn't have any personal information to share. So let's get to it and I'll show you guys that system. So this is my current email that is just for newsletters. And I want to show you guys how I get to this point where everything is, uh, has a label and it's very, very organized. Let's talk about it. So over here on the left, I have all of my labels. Again, I've sorted them by the 13 pillars, but I've added some new ones and I haven't had time to update them. So I'll show you guys how I do this. So if I wanted to make a new label, say let's, let's find one that doesn't have one. So let's look over here on the left. So I have organized again by the top label and then I have labels underneath it. So for example, coalition nine is um, one, I'm gonna go in and edit it. So I just make a new label. So this is coalition nine. And then I'm gonna decide what category it goes into, which of the 13 pillars, because this is a local one, I'm gonna put this under local because it's a local group. 
So now I'm in local, but you'll see that it doesn't automatically add the color. So I'm gonna go into local, I'm gonna click label color, and then I'm going to select this and then click label local and it's sub labels and then automatically adds that purple color. Now I have local as a pillar that's different than the rest of my pillar system just because local is so unique to email that I have that in here. So let's find this other one, so Ko-Fi. I'm trying to think of what this is. This was a Notion template that I got. So I'm gonna move this into Notion. So I'm gonna to go to Ko-Fi and then I'm gonna scroll down. So Notion I keep under Mind Expansion Learning and then under Productivity and then under Notion. So I've got that. So now if I want to, I could go in and make sure that I'm labeling all of the things under Mind Expansion. Now if you go in, if you go down to Notion, um, which is under Productivity, you'll see it is now um, highlighted in silver. So I do that every time. So every time I come up with a new thing that I have that I want to label, I just create, so glucose goddess, that's going to be put under health and fitness because that has to do with um, eating. So I'm going to move that to health and fitness done. And then I'm going to label all of those. I mean, you can do this at the end, but I label everything under health and fitness orange. So I do that for everything. So um, this guy does notion stuff. So I'm going to move him into notion. So if I scroll down again, do the same thing. It does take a while to do this individually, but you're gonna have to just take the time to do that for yourself. Um, this is, I'm trying to remember what this is. This has to do with like sales. I'm gonna move this into sales and marketing. So that's in red, move that to red, and then I'm going to label that as red. Do you kind of see what I'm doing? I hope that this is helpful because, um, yeah, this is a Chrome extension that I just got. So I'm going to edit label. I'm going to move that into probably, let's do mind expansion for that one. And then I think that's it. Yep. Um, I've got uncharted territories. That's like a recent newsletter that I signed up for. So I think I'm going to put that under mind expansion as well. And then, so I, again, some of these, I'm like, wait, what is this again? This was something Vidu. Um, oh, this was, uh, what was this for? This was for like, I, this was for something I was making with content. So I'm going to move that to content. And then the last one was Vondi. Again, I think this was like some sort of AI program. So I'm going to put that under content as well, just for now. And then I'll go through, make sure all the labels within there are labeled. So that's how I set up the labels. Again, if you want to add a new label, you just move it and then put it at, under the main I guess pillar is what I how I do it. So now you can see over on the left, I have all of mine organized by color. You've seen my color coding video. You know exactly how I order things. Um, so I have like all my health and fitness. I've got you know friends of dating. I've got entertainment, um, like ticket sales. I've gotten these are all like content stuff. It's very organized because again, I get like, this is just in the last day or two, I've gotten all these emails. I do like to keep them in the inbox, um, but what I can then do is just go through and archive them really quick. So let me give an example of what I would do if, for example, this one doesn't have a label. So when it comes in and it hasn't been labeled, it means I haven't filtered it yet. So if I click here, I will go here and click filter messages like this. It will find all the other, uh, emails from this email, so matt at video.ai. I'm gonna click create filter, then I'm gonna click apply the label and I'll choose which label. I already have this label, I just haven't filtered it. So I believe it should be under, yes, it's under content creation video.ai. Then I click create filter. Now, the next time I get an email from that, it will automatically label it. But for now, I'm going to add the label. So, and then I can archive it. So now if I go to that one, you'll still see, I don't, I like to archive things, you never know. So now you'll see that that, that is here and I have that email. So if I want to, I could read these emails. Otherwise I can literally go through, actually I could just select all of them if I wanted to. I think all of these are, yep, filters. So then I would just click archive um, and then I could do the same thing. All of these have been labeled. I click archive and now I go back to inbox zero. Again, if I go through, I could read them if I wanted to, or if I'm like, wait, what are all of Ali Abdel's emails been lately? I can go through and I can find all of his emails if I wanted to, because again, they're super organized. Um, this has taken me a long time to do. 
But because I have a system, because I've moved all of my email newsletters, and again, I probably subscribe to more. Again, I don't read all of them, but I'm also someone that likes to see from a marketing perspective, how often people are sending them out. What, what, what makes me want to click? What, you know, what are people doing? You know, he uses emojis in every email. Maybe I should be doing that. You know, figuring out exactly what works is really, really helpful. So that is how I organize my email. I do it by pillars. I do it by colors, I filter them when they're coming in, and then I have a completely separate inbox just for newsletters. You can do the exact same thing for your work email. You can filter it by person. So if it's someone in your company, you can have colors for different people. I always put red for clients because that's important. So um, I always have red for those people coming in. And then every time now when I look at my inbox, I can see, so if I actually go to all inbox, you will see that I can see them all as well. So I know exactly, okay, this is a business email, this is a content email, this is a, a mind expansion email, whatever it is. If, if I'm looking for something about acne, I could even search, you know, acne. Now I've got all of the different topics about acne that I can read if I want to. So for me, it's almost like creating um, my own inbox, which is also a research area. So if I wanted to talk about like, fasting. Let's just type in fasting. I got a ton of stuff by Mindy Peltz. You know, it even searches through the email itself. Um, so I use this as a way to almost do research and it's all really, really good information, you know? So that is the thing that I like to use email for. So I hope that this video is helpful as walking through how to do it. Let me know if you have any questions and, um, I hope that you guys have enjoyed this digital declutter. Um, this was kind of a quick walkthrough. A lot of this is going to take time. You can create your own labels, however you want, but this is how I do it. And this is what I would recommend because I found it works best for me. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you next time. Thanks guys so much for watching this video and for watching the five part series. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I am going to get back to Notion content soon. Don't worry. Uh, but I'm also going to be taking a small, tiny little break on YouTube just because I have a lot of stuff going on. Um, so I will be back sometime in July. If you're watching this in June, I will be coming back with you for hopefully some other series. Maybe I'll do some Notion series as well. I do like the idea of a series because it kind of keeps me on track knowing that there is like an, a beginning and an end to it. Um, it kind of allows me to organize my content a little bit more. So let me know in the comments also what you guys want to see and I'll talk to you next week. Bye.